Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Welcome, everyone. This is Steve Meisinger, your host for today's ISE webinar. Today we have Trading Central with us. Cyril Burkuk will be talking about FX options, their trend opinions, and how they make those opinions looking at the moving averages and trend lines. So I think this will be a great webinar, uh, time well spent over the next uh, 45 minutes or an hour. Um, uh, hopefully you'll take away wh how they look at uh, the markets uh, regarding technical analysis and how they, of course, make these trading recommendations. Anytime you're trading, you should always include or consider taxes, margin, or commission. And um, you can get a copy of the characteristics and risk of standardized options. You can go call 1-888-OPTIONS or go to optionseducation.org. We're trading a lot of pairs here at the ISC. Uh, we just added the Brazilian Real. Uh, that's not on that slide three, but... Um, what is on the slide, Australian dollar, British pound, Canadian dollar, Euro, yen, Mexican peso, New Zealand dollar, Swedish krona, Swiss franc, and as I said, the Brazilian real. We offer all those currency pairs. Again, it's paired up against the dollar. Uh, you just need to have an equity options account, so an account with um, a broker like, uh, let's just say, Interactive Brokers. Um, they're available uh, all throughout the world. Uh, possibly E-Trade, Ameritrade, Options Express, Trade Station, uh, folks like that. There are many, many brokers out there. So um, if you don't have a, an account, you can open one today. They're exchange-listed securities. They're settled in U.S. dollars, European-style exercise. And you can trade spreads, all the uh, strategies that you can implement when you're trading equity options except the covered call can be implemented using the currency options. We just launched a new website, fxoptions.com. Uh, I'd urge you to go and bookmark fxoptions.com. We have a trader forum. We have trading contests. We have all the uh, prices, the volatilities. Um, we have our webinars. Uh, so there's lots there, fxoptions.com. urge you to... Go and check that out. So without further ado, I want to introduce Cyril Burkoop from Trading Central. And Cyril will be talking about how they make their trading recommendations using moving averages and trend lines. Cyril, good afternoon in Europe. And, of course, we're here in the U.S. and it's uh, morning for us. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're doing well. So we start with uh, FX option uh, trade alert. So we have two kinds of reports. So the first one uh, on the slide is the trade alert report um, and the trend opinion, but we will see after the first slide. Uh, this one on the first slide is, uh, is a classical trade alert. Um, so on this uh, trade alert, uh, we have um, two boxes. The first one, which is the option strategy, uh, just there we are long a call, we buy a call, so the action is buy to open, uh, means uh, that uh, you, 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 you take the position when we send uh, the report, the trade alert. Uh, we indicate the last price, the target, and the stop loss. Stop loss, very important. Uh, and uh, on the second boxes, we have option details. So there is call with a strike at 1.34. The expiration is March uh, 2010, and the option ticker. Just at left of the, of the document, we have the technical analysis of uh, the underlying. So 
the underlying there is the Mexican peso with the ticker code of uh, PZ, PZO. And uh, we have also a, a technical indicator there is the RSI. And uh, that's it for uh, we have also uh, we have also volatility con and historical volatility just below. So that this is the, the trade alert, um, the, the FX option trade alert. Uh, I need to insist on, on one thing uh, regarding uh, trade alerts uh, from uh, Trading Central uh, on FX option. Uh, it's very important to to trade all our recommendation as it's almost uh, impossible to to have a, a 100. Uh, percent of a winner's trade. The, the strength of this service is the control of risk. I mean that the loss is always limited by 25 percent, and even we have, we have just a 50 percent of winner-loser trade ratio, um, our performance will go, will go higher. So if you just choose some trade alerts proposed, you take the, actually you take the risk to choose just the, 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 low, the loser one. So it's very important to trade all, re, re, uh, all um, recommendations. On the next slide, so the second uh, the second one is the FX option trend uh, opinion. So uh, it's just a trend opinion. We don't list the, the opinion in your profit and loss report. Uh, in this um, FX trend opinion. We propose uh, three options the most appropriate, and this report is released every Monday. So the three options proposed are just in these three boxes, okay? Is, is the most appropriate option regarding um, our forecast on uh, the underlying. There is the British pound with the ticker symbol uh, BP, BPX, and, um, and you have the choice uh, between uh, three, three options. Uh, the difference between the trade alert and trade opinion is that in trend opinion we focus on um, an interesting technical configuration, but uh, our confidence for the timing is weaker than in the in the trend alert. So does that mean that you must not trade uh, option proposed? But the timing is not necessarily the best, as we send the report every Monday. So maybe we 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 send the report on Monday, but maybe the best timing will be. Uh, on, uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday, not sure, but uh, we have to, to send this report every Monday. So uh, we, we have a, a, a relative confidence regarding the technical analysis on underlying, but uh, not necessary on the timing, regarding the timing. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.